Hey what's up guys, Zach King here from Final Cut King. In this video we're going to be going over the top gear effect, here's what we're going to be doing. Basically what we're going to do, it's, it's kind of like creating a vignette but using a gradient. Also you guys can follow along with this tutorial, I'm going to start posting all the project files and the footage on my website so you can download that and follow along. Go to finalcutking.com. I think I'll post it in the blog. There's a link in the description. So if you want the footage, you got it. Okay, let's open up the plain footage. And here's what we're going to be doing. Basically, it's kind of like creating a vignette, except this is a little more intense. But it's not that hard at all. So drag this video clip down into your second layer. And then what we're going to do for this bottom layer is where we're going to put the actual effect. We're going to go ahead and go to Render and I'm gonna get a gradient you can do it in custom gradient controls let's go ahead and do radial center check these two and bring this down right under the clip pop that open so all we're gonna do is right click on our plane footage go to composite mode and go to hard light right here and check it out voila it is done but we're going to go through a few variations here because what's cool with this gradient is not only can we change the color right here, so maybe this is kind of a average first time pass, but maybe you want to change the color to give it a feel. Let's go for a cold feel. We'll give it kind of a blue tint, and this is hitting the start color. And there you go. You already got it kind of colored just like that. One thing you also notice about the Top Gear effect is a lot of times they add desaturation to their look. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our effects. Let's put a color corrector on there. Video filters, color correction. I'm just going to grab the regular color corrector. Nothing too fancy. Color corrector, and then we're going to pull down the saturation just a tad bit. I'm going to turn off that gradient blue. Just go back to white. See how much we desaturated it there. I'm going to turn that back up. kind of something like that. Also I want to tell you that you can change the gradient here actually. It's a little little too dark for preference on the side so if we grab our gradient you can actually grab it in the canvas and pull it back. Kind of adjust it like a vignette. Very similar. And if you don't have those controls just make sure you're up here checking image and wireframe so you can grab it and move it around. So that's a top gear effect a couple different variations. I'm going to copy and paste this just to show you the color tinting thing. You just select your gradient and then voila, use that start color to give you a feel. Let's go for a warm, warmer feel. Even the slightest color. You don't have to go way out here. It's a little too harsh. Something just easy like that. Gets all kinds of variations with the Top Gear effect in Final Cut Pro. You can download the project file and the footage in the description of this video. And I've also got some brand new color training for Apple's Color and Final Cut Pro on FinalCutKing.com. Hey, I've been getting a lot of emails from people who say, Hey, I'm in LA. I kind of want to get together with you and film some stuff. I'm going to be working on a lot of cool action sequences this year. If you want to come out and hang out with us and work on film projects, we're making a lot of stuff all the time. So you're welcome to send me an email. I'm Zach King, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.